A sobering assessment tonight from the White House's Coronavirus Task Force. In its weekly report, it describes the trajectory of the pandemic as an aggressive, unrelenting, expanding broad community spread across the country, reaching most counties without evidence of improvement. Now, health officials have said it time and time again, get tested for the coronavirus. And these folks are listening. Dodger Stadium had some of the longest lines we've seen in a long time for testing. The NBC4i team has learned the company that helps run LA's public testing sites is now making plans on how to distribute the COVID vaccine when it's available. Our investigative reporter Joel Grover tells us it would be easy and it would be free. The line was hundreds of cars long all day today at the city of LA's Hanson Dam test site. This site is something of an experiment where you can now get a COVID test and a flu shot. While you're getting a COVID test, if you want to get your flu vaccine, then it's a one-stop shop. Now the company that helps run LA's public test sites, Curative, tells the I-Team it hopes to use the Hanson Dam model to offer COVID vaccines at most of its sites, possibly early next year. This is also a practice run for when a COVID vaccine is made available uh, early next year. To get a COVID vaccine, Curative says you'd be able to sign up online just like you can for a COVID test at nine city sites. The COVID vaccine would be free of charge, just like the COVID test is now. People are already used to it. They know where to go. They know where their community sites are. And so they know the drill. In addition to City of LA test sites, the federal government is also partnering with chains like Albertsons, which owns pavilions and Vons. The company says it is well positioned to give consumers a COVID vaccine. All of its pharmacists, like the ones at this pavilions on Melrose, already administer other vaccines like the flu shot. But both private and public sites have some hurdles to figure out. The sites will have to set up software systems for keeping track of who got vaccinated and notifying them to come back for a second dose, which most vaccines will require. Whatever their preferred method of communication is, we can remind them of that second dose, whether it be within 21 days or 30 days post the first dose. And at least one of the COVID vaccines, the one made by Pfizer will need to be stored in special freezers at minus 94 degrees. How could you keep the vaccine at the proper temperature? So that's something we'd have to figure out. Curative is hoping to use its fleet of vans, which now administer flu shots and COVID tests, to store the COVID vaccines. Inside those mobile vans, we have refrigerators with a very specific scientific thermometer that keeps them at the right temperature. The company says its public test sites could be giving thousands of doses of the COVID vaccine every day in the LA area sometime in early 2021. For the I-Team, I'm Joel Grover.